Hi everyone, I'm super excited about this video because I have a lab sample of the brand new The Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% mask. It's a gorgeous mask, I've tested it out. I think it's gonna to appeal to a whole wide range of different people with different skin issues. So if you're interested in finding out what it's all about, how I got on and when it launches, then please keep watching. So The Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% mask is a rinse off formula and it's alcohol free, oil free, silicon free, nut free, vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free. So I'm gonna just pop up a, up a picture of what the actual packaging looks like, because it obviously won't come like this, because this is just a small little sample for me to try that came from the lab. So the mask has been formulated to target lackluster skin that's sort of dull or congested, or you've got tone and textural irreg irregularities, so you can feel bumps. Now personally, I get a lot of bumps here and here, so my skin gets congested there, and that's where I've really noticed the difference with this mask. And also, if you get block pores, this one is for you. So as well as salicylic acid, the formula uses clays and charcoal to decongest the skin. So clay and charcoal, famous for purifying the skin, drawing out impurities, detoxifying, deep cleansing. So they are doing that job here. So the structure of the salicylic acid in this mask works to target dead skin cells on the surface of the skin, um, particularly on oily or blemish prone skin. This will show a real kind of increased radiance as it removes that dead skin cell layer and reveals the new skin underneath. So I thought I'd just mention, obviously the ordinary already do a salicylic acid 2% solution and you might be wondering how it's different. So firstly, this is a rinse off formula. So if you just want to use the salicylic acid in, in a targeted way and not over a long time where it's interacting with other ingredients, this is the perfect solution. You can get it on. It's a concentrated kind of infusion of the salicylic acid. Then you rinse it off and then you can be sure that you're not kind of mixing it with other ingredients that you may not find work in combination for your skin type. I don't use the salicylic acid solution myself, but I've kind of having been obviously a bit of a addict of skincare and also Desiem, I think some people have found that it's quite a strong formula and that the serum solution, serum slash solution, whatever you want to call it, some skin types don't enjoy the solution so it can be quite too, can be too strong and perhaps cause a bit of reaction or irritation i believe that this mask is a much gentler formulation so i had when i applied it i had no feeling of stinging no sensation of it being strong on the skin it just felt calming i've got the lab sample i love the texture it's like a bouncy firm jelly with kind of a grainy grittiness to it and it smooths over the skin really easily it's a lovely dark color if you it's kind of one of those masks that looks like it works if you know what i mean so this mask needs to be applied onto dry skin i just put it on i put it on all over my face if you just have areas where that you want to treat you could just i mean personally in future i could maybe do just here and around here but i'm just when i was first trying it for the first couple of times i've used it all over my whole face and i actually really like how that what that does if you've got particularly dry forehead you could maybe miss that out but like maybe target if you want to try it first just target the areas that you feel you need it so for me that would be nose where i get blackheads and congested pores and also the chin and particularly the sides of the chin that get lumpy and bumpy and quite decongested i found that the mask is brilliant for that a bit more of a proper review then as i applied it didn't feel any stinging there's no kind of it smells clean and fresh but there's no kind of like of that sting of like a menthol -y sting, if you know what I mean. It just feels calming. It doesn't even feel drying, even though it is a mask that dries on the skin. So I, after I applied it, I left it on my skin for 10 minutes. It didn't feel tight as it was drying. It didn't feel uncomfortable. Kind of forgot about it. Um, I set a timer because you need to make sure you don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes because it has a fairly intense exfoliating action. So when the time was up, I just added a bit of water to loosen the mask. I just used a face cloth to gently remove everything. It isn't hard to come off. It comes off pretty easily once you've kind of wet it down again. And I just removed every trace of it and then gave my face a quick rinse with water. Other than the fact that I'd kind of washed it and touched my face, my skin wasn't red or irritated. It just felt really smooth, particularly on the sides of my chin. Really clean looking, very smooth, decongested. And here's my skin straight after removing the mask and applying my three favorite pro products from Desiem, which are the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Serum, CAIS2, the Neod Modulating Glucosides, 
and then the Neod Multi-Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Complex 2 over the top. And I, this for me is like a serious, gorgeous combination for lovely, smooth, glowy skin. I mean, I think it's the perfect prep treatment if you want your makeup to go on flawlessly, especially if you just target areas if you've got combination skin or any dryness, just to target the areas that you feel you want to decongest, absorb oil and smooth out texture. I'm really impressed with how it isn't drying at all. And I think that's down to the fact that it has squalane really high up the ingredients list. I think it's like the second ingredient. And squalane is a brilliant emollient for skin. It also is very anti-inflammatory and calming. And it's a natural antioxidant as well. So you're not just kind of exfoliating in the skin, you're kind of almost infusing it with all that good stuff from the squalane as well. So I think this is gonna be a great mask for loads of people, even if you haven't traditionally got on with salicylic acid in the past, and it's a brilliant, as I said, prep for makeup. So if you want your skin to be really fresh and smooth for application before a night out, this is the mask to try. So this comes in a 50 ml tube, it's going to be £9.90 for the 50 ml and it launches on the 29th of May. I've got a blog post on reallyre.com, I'm going to pop a link in the description box which you can sign up for an email for when the product launches. I think it's going to fly. So let me know if you've got any questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, you can always catch me on Twitter and Instagram, I'm at reallyre over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!